Should I buy a home in St. George right now? Folks, as a real estate professional, this is a question that I get asked almost daily, and there is not a real good answer for it. The answer for it is always it depends. Folks, my name is Nick Rostopchin, and I moved to Southern Utah close to 10 years ago. When I made the decision, I basically did it completely blind with very little information to rely on, and I just kind of sent it. I was a bachelor, didn't have much to lose, and I wouldn't necessarily recommend doing it. I wouldn't recommend following the process my way. However, I would highly recommend living in Southern Utah. Since then, I created a successful YouTube channel that had allowed for hundreds of our clients to relocate to this area, having the peace of mind and the education that we provide on this channel. So if you're on the fence or you're thinking about moving into the area, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. And while you're down there, give this video a like so it could get suggested to more people and so that you don't miss out on any of our future content. But let's dive into the meat and potatoes of this video. So. A lot of people ask me if right now is a good time for them to buy. The amount of panicky content is at all time highest. You have folks that are talking about the market crashes, they're comparing this scenario to 2008. You have people that are talking about you know, the world ending and you also have people that are possibly forcing you into making a decision sooner rather than later because, again, the environment is changing. Now, without me knowing exactly what your particular situation is, it is hard for me to advise. I'm typically the first person that tells you to run if it's a bad deal. However, let me give you just a couple of, couple of scenarios, a couple of examples. So let's say you're thinking about, you know, maybe buying some real estate for a short term, riding the market up and then getting out of it. Well, if, if your plan is a year or less, we've potentially kind of missed that, missed that timing because uh, we just came out of an all time low interest rate environment. So there's room for the interest rates to come up. And as we've noticed over the last month and a half, when the interest rates almost doubled, it took away a lot of affordability from a lot of buyers. So if you're, if you're thinking about it short term, then right now might not be ideal because real estate always wins long term. But if you're thinking about relocating into this area and maybe starting a new career or maybe transferring within your existing position and just living here for the next five, eight, 10 years, I feel that long term interest rate um, won't affect you as much, but also you would want to lock in at the lowest interest rate possible right now so that you don't have to worry about chancing what you would be able to afford you know a few years from now now if you're if you're thinking about uh you know getting some more specific advice on your particular situation because uh, it's more unique whatever whatever those challenges may be maybe you have to sell a home somewhere else maybe there are moving parts or maybe you are looking at purchasing an investment property and you, you just need a little more advice on how exactly to go about your particular scenario. In the description below this video, I posted a link to get on our calendar. We could set up a 30 minute meeting. Um, we could do Zoom or a phone call and I would be happy to answer all and any of your questions that may help you make the decision that may get you closer to at least knowing the truth, because I feel that as a real estate agent, it is my mission to help people answer these questions, even if it doesn't always translate into a sale. I'm in this business long term, and the worst thing that I could do is advise you to move in the wrong direction. Maybe buying right now is really not the best idea for you based on your specific situation, but I know that a time will come when you need our help and we're able to take care of you. So either way, whatever it may be, please feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my contact information is in the description below this video, as well as that calendar link. Now, uh, if we're talking about our, our market right now in particular, 
what we're seeing, it is uh, it's July 5th today. America just celebrated his birthday. And what we're seeing in our market currently is that a lot of inventory that, first of all, let's, let's talk about inventory. So we just doubled our inventory. We went from around 400 listings on a market to over 800. So now we have two months of supply. That's translating into a lot of our buyers not necessarily having to feel like they have to panic buy real estate. I can't believe that this is even coming out of my mouth. Panic buying anything is not a good idea, especially when it's real estate. So now if you're thinking about buying a home, an investment property, whatever it may be, you actually have a little bit of time to decide. The sellers are starting to make some accommodations. Now, if we look at our um, list to close ratio, uh, we went from 102% to about 98%. So what does that mean to you? In the past, like three months ago, in order to make a deal happen, you almost certainly had to offer at least 2% over asking. And now deals are starting to happen with some of the price reductions to the tune of around 2% below asking, which is great news if you're looking to buy. That means, and again, this is highly dependent on the price range. So certain price ranges are a lot more competitive. Like if you're looking at buying anything under half a million, you may still you know, have to fight with a few multiple offers. As I tumble down this, uh, <laughs> this little notch here. Um, folks, if you're wondering about where I'm at, I am hiking the Dixie Rock. Early, early morning weather is absolutely incredible in Southern Utah. It is 7.30 right now, so I wanted to come out before it got really hot to show you guys this beautiful area. We're just literally steps away from downtown St. George, and this is awesome. If you're in an area, look up Sugar Loaf or Dixie Rock. You should definitely check this place out. So getting back to what we we're talking about. So if, uh, if you're thinking about buying right now, there's definitely a great opportunity to get into something without necessarily having to um, go over asking or have to waive contingencies or do any of the crazy things that we were used to. So the reason it's happening is because a lot of buyers are getting priced out of the market, meaning that anybody that was able to qualify for whatever their pre-approval was. So let's say that pre-approval was 650,000. Median sale price in St. George right now is 575,000. So if somebody was pre-approved for, let's say up to, I don't know, say they were pre-approved up to 650 at two and a half percent or three percent. Now their pre-approval limit has probably dropped by nearly 200,000 based on the new monthly payment. So naturally it increased some competition in certain price ranges and it made other price ranges less competitive because if fewer people are able to afford, you know, homes in the 900s or a million plus, and you happen to be shopping in that price range, it may be a great opportunity for you to scoop something up. Again, like I was saying earlier in this video, your purchasing decision highly depends on your particular situation. Or maybe you have some cash and you're looking to secure some real estate in order to protect your equity. Maybe you have a 1031 exchange from selling your home in California or Washington or wherever else. Maybe you had an investment property that you don't feel comfortable owning in a state that has rent controls and you would really like to be in control of your investment. It all highly depends on your particular situation. Now, again, if you're, if you're thinking about making a move, you just need some questions answered. It is hard for me to address these questions in sort of a broad spectrum, assuming that I know your situation because I don't. And we absolutely love it when our viewers and our subscribers reach out to us. So if you're thinking or even remotely considering about buying or investing or even selling here in St. George, my phone number is in the description below this video. Our calendar link is also down below. Michonne and myself are available for your meetings. So feel free to 
reach out to us however you prefer and we would absolutely love to take care of you. Now, sellers, if you're thinking about selling your property in this environment, having professional help is probably now more important than ever because we're starting to get into the territory of real estate that I like to call a pro sport. So for, uh, and bear with me here, I'm not making fun of anybody, but for a period of time there, everybody and anybody was becoming a real estate agent because it seemed like this was an easy thing to do. It seemed like you just, you know, you just uh, put on a suit, go out, meet a few people, close a deal, and make this massive commission check. And for a while, it was never easy. If it felt easy, then somebody was probably not delivering the full service that you deserve. However, now having a qualified professional in your corner is more important than ever because if you overprice your listing, and we're starting to see these trends where, you know, stuff that sits on the market tends to undergo the greatest price reductions. So if you overprice your listing and it sits on the market a little too long, it could literally be in hundreds of thousands of your equity lost. So pricing your listing correctly, marketing it, giving it maximum exposure is now more important than ever. And this is kind of universal. This is not just Southern Utah. We're starting to see similar trends all across other markets. We have over 50 referral partners in other states. So if, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, Nick, I have to sell my home in South Florida or maybe Southern California, maybe anywhere else in the Pacific West, chances are we have a trusted partner that we have already done business with that we could put a seal of our approval on that could take care of you as well. So one last thing that I want to tell you guys before I end this video. I, I learned this from somebody in, in the real estate space. I don't remember who said this quote, but a lot of people are panicking right now, right? A lot of people are saying, and a lot of people have been saying this since the 1980s. You know, the 1980s, they said, well, you know, a nuclear war with Russians is gonna happen. And right now is not a good time to buy real estate because everything's gonna lose values. It's not gonna make sense. And guess what? People that bought in the 1980s are sitting on a ton of equity right now. Then in 2001, right around 9-11, people said, you know what? Buying real estate is crazy. You should not buy or invest in real estate right now because everything is gonna lose value. Guess what? People that bought around 2001 are now sitting on a ton of equity. Next event was 2008. So you see the progression here, right? My point is this, long-term real estate always wins. So if you're thinking about it long-term, consider your options, consider what the future may or may not bring, lock in that ideal situation and no matter what, even if the sky is falling, somebody somewhere is closing an escrow today. So if you think about that from a real estate professional perspective, I don't want it to sound like commission breath because as a seller, you know, anytime you sell something or anytime you, you buy something, you have to think about your way out and your ability to sell. And real estate still falls into that commodity category where no matter what happens, even if the world is ending, somebody somewhere wants your property. So if you're able to calculate your risks, make an educated decision, hopefully with our advice, you are likely going to succeed. Nobody truly knows what the future will bring. However, if you're making smart moves and the right decisions today, you're going to be all right. Folks, if you look around here, there may be a couple of videos that you might enjoy next. Be sure to click on one of those. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with a friend if you found it useful. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.